We look ahead to a new season, and we invite Cheryl Johns from Evelyn Charles, as we do, to show off some makeovers. And we have a makeover candidate in bridal style and giving us all some tips on how to look refreshed for spring. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, nice I love. To see you. Yeah, nice to see you as well. And I love to see these these makeover stories. So um, let's have a look at some of the footage and and what we're seeing on this on this makeover on this beautiful girl. So this is Magda, and she's starting off with really about eight to ten weeks out before the bridal day, the, okay. the big day of the wedding. She's coming in to actually have her perfect pout for the wedding day. So they're doing actually lip filler, uh, injecting it into the lips to really make it uh, just that full, beautiful lip. Okay, and how much filler are you doing here? It's really only about it's the amount of a tablespoon. Is that right? So, so just a small amount, uh, and, and the nurse, Monica, uh, is actually injecting upper and lower. Okay, and I, I say this every time, that looks painful, so how do, you, how do we manage that part? Uh, Lattacane first, so it's put on for about 30 minutes prior, and then of course the filler has uh, Lattacane in it as well, so it's completely numb. Okay, and why is it important to do that, that amount of time prior to the day of? You're going to have a little bit of inflammation after, possible bruising, not everybody bruises, but... You know, you don't want to have bruising on the big day. No, you don't. So you want it's to look important perfect. to have beautiful lips. On your perfect day. Okay. And of course, and <laughs> yes. along with that, um, we've done some other uh, procedures here. So let's have a look at the next step in the makeover. And of course, so this is the hair. So this is Samira starting with uh, the hair. Usually they'll start to come out with the, uh, go into a salon. Usually about, again, as soon as you set the date, come in, kind of talk about your hair, the style you'd like to have it done. Some people have to actually grow out the hair prior to. Right. So we would have that conversation. Uh, on Magda, she's actually changing the color, making it a little bit more of a, a beige blonde rather than a golden blonde. So she really wants that bright, beautiful look. Right. And so. this, is, wow, this is. This Quite is a deluxe process. right here. That looks really nice, getting your hair and your nails done at the same time. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. So she she's, did a manicure right while she was sitting there, wasting no time to yes. make sure the bride's busy, right? There's of course. There's so much to get done. Okay. And uh, moving right along to having that fresh, dewy look. And what yes. about the skin? What do we do with so that? So the skin, we started off with uh, having uh, treatments. So we're doing facials. We're doing microdermabrasion to really get rid of that dead cells on the skin yes. and really give that bright glow yeah. for the bride. Uh, we also did a consultation for microblading on the brows, so we started to do her brows as well, and you want to do that eight weeks out. So really, it's a full beauty event. Yes, yeah, so if right? you have a summer date, a summer wedding, this yes. is the time to start thinking about, right now. about yes. those procedures. Okay, yes. let's bring out the beautiful, the beautiful bride. bride. This is Magda. Come on down, Magda. And beautiful dress with the beauty boutique, and she went in for her fitting, so... So right now she would actually be getting ready to they'd be sewing up the dress, making sure that it fits properly, and uh, the big day. So we have a before, we'll do a before and after. You look stunning, by the way, and here we have it. Okay, so I see what you mean by that beige and the blonde. And you see the difference? Absolutely, and why, why would you switch the blonde up? It's just really soft against her skin tone. It gives that beautiful... Uh, cream color to her skin yeah. and her hair so everything just looks soft so romantic you know very romantic now She's... what about the updo how often um should the bride be coming in before the big day well i would usually they do a first uh consultation and then she would start the process with the color and then actually just going through a look turn sideways with your with your head so we can see the back it is just so beautiful and you can see Samira spent a lot of time with the curling iron first. She was using a curling iron. Then she started to pin it up and, and give this beautiful hair. And it's going to last all day. I love right, that. So it's just very elegant. Beautiful bride. Yes, beautiful bride. And the yes. lace, of course, with the dress is right on trend. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. And so I love that silhouette. It's just fabulous. And we did a little bit, you know, you could even go in and have a uh, body wrap and body scrub as well prior to. Oh, why right? not? Right, to have that glowing skin. So there's so much that we can do at, at the salon and spa. Mm -hmm. There's just step by step. So we really become their coach for the bridal day. Well, you look stunning. Yeah. You look stunning. And thank you so much My for, pleasure. for this, for taking us through. Yes. And of course, these are the things that you want to think about before the big day. So there are no surprises when summer rolls around. And